Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I wanted to do a transitional outfits video for you. So I wanted to do kind of a casual video today just walking you through some transitional outfits that I put together. So I thought this would be a fun video to do because right now it's still sort of in between winter and spring. Some days it's really warm outside. You can go outside in just a t-shirt and sunglasses and sandals and it's glorious. And then the next day it's quite cold and windy or rainy. So it's kind of tricky for me personally to uh, know how to dress this time of year, but I do really love spring and I'm just itching to get into some spring outfits or at least winter appropriate outfits that feel a little bit lighter and airier and more spring-like. So that is my goal for today with these outfits. I want them to be warm enough that I can wear them outside when it's still a little bit chilly or cold out but they also give me a kind of sense of spring. And I've mostly been doing this by continuing to wear my knitwear, but choosing lighter colors and more like lighter monochrome outfits, and then just layering if I need to with outerwear. So I'm going to show you four outfits today that I put together. If you're new here, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe for more and ring the bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. I have some really exciting stuff coming up for this month and next, including a collaboration with another YouTuber that I'm so, so excited to share with you all and also a product review, um, actually a piece that I'm going to be mentioning in this video. I know that a few of you have asked for a review of this coat that I'm featuring so I'm really excited to share that with you soon too. I also mentioned in my last vlog that I ordered a full-length arched mirror and I'm so excited. It just arrived last week and I love it. So I thought it'd be more fun to do a kind of casual vlog style video for this one and just kind of show you outfits as I put them together in my mirror. So anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Why hello there everyone, welcome to my room um, and this is the arched mirror that I was talking about in my last video, I really love it, it has a gold frame around it and it's the perfect height for me. It also has a little stand in the back so I can actually prop it up right in the middle of the room which is very cool and that was not an option with my last mirror. But anyways, I've put this here. As you can see, I have several things on my bed behind me. I've already set out a few outfits that I think are all in line with the color palette that I'm going for this spring. And yeah, I'm really excited to try them on. And as I mentioned in the intro video, all of these outfits are still very winter weather appropriate if you're still dealing with winter weather as I am here in the southeast. Um, they all feature like knitwear and outerwear for the most part and sensible shoes for the winter too. Closed toe shoes, that's what I'm saying. So the first outfit that I wanted to talk about is this one that I'm wearing. I actually featured a very similar outfit to this on my blog this week, so I will link that below if you want to see more pictures of this outfit. Um, so this is a really beautiful sweater. It's from a brand called Tradlands that I talk about a lot here on my channel because I really love it. It's a small ethical brand from San Diego and they just make the most beautiful knitwear. It's really, really lovely quality. This is from their new spring collection. They very kindly sent this to me and it's in this gorgeous lilac color. Now, as you may have realized, I don't wear a whole lot of color in my wardrobe for the most part, but this light purple lilac and lavender are like my absolute favorite color, hands down, not to wear just in general, <laughs> but I do also love to wear it a lot. I think it's a really flattering color for a lot of different skin tones too, because you can go like warmer with it, like this one is a little bit warmer, more of a lilac tone, pinkish tone, and then you can go cooler with it too if you want more of like a gray tone or blue tone lavender. So I think it works for a lot of different people and it's also very fun to style. Um, I use color pretty sparingly in my wardrobe so I feel like it really adds a lot to my outfits that are typically more neutrals based. And also this color goes really well with blue jeans. I love a pair of light wash denim like this for springtime, really for any time of the year, but I really start to um, reach for my light wash denim a lot more in the spring and summer, naturally. Just want a lighter color palette for the most part. These are the Levi wedgie jeans, which I'm sure you've seen in a lot of my videos. I really love this style. They're a little high-waisted, not too much though. Um, but I just think they're really flattering. They are kind of slim straight leg 
so not too slim and I do wear my jeans a little bit looser than I really need to but that's just a little bit more comfortable for me but they're really nice straight leg this particular style I think looks really flattering on a lot of different body types too and have a kind of vintage denim feel to them you all know how much I love these Levi wedgie jeans I did a whole video review comparing these with the Levi ribcage jeans which I'll link on the screen and I forgot to mention earlier that this sweater is in the style called Jude um, which is a really great lightweight knit so really ideal for this time of year and you know into the spring and summer even I wear knitwear a lot in the summer. I I kind of just wear it all year round, to be honest. So this is a more lightweight knit compared to their other styles and compared to the cardigan that I own. Um, but I really like it. It has like a nice scallop trim to it too. It has a really cute little finish to it. And I went with a size medium. Um, I actually typically go with a size medium in Tradlands because I like a larger knit um, they're just a little bit more comfortable to me and they layer well over things. I don't really like to wear tight knitwear unless it's like a fitted knit top. For the most part, I like my sweaters to be very big and loose fitting. So if you did go with your typical sizing though, it would be a bit more shrunken because I would say that these run oversized to start with. So if you're sizing up, it's going to be a lot more oversized, but yeah, really happy to be incorporating some brighter and prettier colors into my wardrobe for spring and so my first tip with the transitional dressing is to incorporate a lighter pastel color um, to just kind of brighten up your neutrals if you're like me and your wardrobe has a lot of neutrals in it so this is my base outfit and now i will show you what i added on top of this to make it a little bit more winter appropriate so now I've layered a coat on top. This is a camel colored coat. This is an old run from Uniqlo. Um, so I will leave some ethical and sustainable options, uh, similar styles below in the description box. I've been looking all winter season for a really similar style from a sustainable brand that is, you know, affordable for the most part. And I really haven't found much, um, but I will let you know what I did find. But yeah, this is the coat I've been wearing the most this year. And every year for the past few seasons, I have looked forward to getting this coat out and wearing it as much as possible in the winter until it eventually gets too warm for it. So luckily we're still having a few cool days that require a like kind of a lighter coat like this. This is more of like a cocoon coat style, I believe is what it was called. Um, so it's unlined and it works really well for this time of year when you know it's not super super cold like bone chillingly cold and it kind of just acts as a nice like windbreaker a fuzzy warm windbreaker um, especially when it's paired with a knit top like this or a sweater and actually this coat works really well all winter long um, since I've been living in the south you know in southern California and in the southeast where it doesn't get extremely cold most days so you know, most days in the winter I'm able to get away with a more lightweight coat like this, which I'm very grateful for. But I paired these two together because I really, really love this color combination of the lilac and the camel brown color. They're almost kind of similar in color. Um, they're similar in like warmth tones and so I think they just look amazing together and I mean, I just want to wear this color combo like from here on out. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it still feels kind of spring-like, it feels warm, and this particular lilac color reminds me a lot of French style, like, you know, really pretty, dainty, feminine, um, lavender knit cardigans and things, so I really wanted this look to be more, like, Parisian-inspired, but in a way that was more true to, like, my kind of minimal and androgynous personal style, I guess you could say, so with a few, like, feminine detail so I think the color of the sweater is very feminine for me and so with this I paired it with these heels so these are the rosy heels from Sarah Flint they're very feminine um, but still kind of like minimal and in that loafer style that I really really love and I particularly love the kind of almond shaped pointed toe and a really small block heel that's very comfortable to wear and walk around in. So I am such a fan of these heels. They give this look 
a kind of more feminine feeling, um, you know, that's still very in line with my personal style. And you finish off this very Parisian inspired outfit. I went with a classic Parisian accessory and that is the woven basket bag. So if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll probably recognize this. This is the round basket bag from Woven Finds, which is a cool small business um, that I discovered on Etsy actually. And I just absolutely love this style. I saw an Instagrammer that I love named Lena Farl. She is based in Paris and she had a round bag like this. This was a couple of years back, I think. And I just fell in love with it instantly. So I went on Etsy and found this one. And it's still one of my favorite um, accessories in my wardrobe because it's just so unique feeling. I think this is a nice piece to contrast with the rest of my wardrobe. So it's always fun to style this up and kind of change up my look with it. So yeah, I feel like the perfect example of transitional dressing is wearing like a coat and a little woven basket bag with you. Like, does it get more transitional season than that? I don't think so. <laughs> so here we are with the first outfit for the transitional season and I'm really liking this one. So here is outfit number two and I've had to move my mirror over a little bit because I am actually attempting to film two things at once which is not really working out all that well but anyways um yeah so I wanted to show you this beautiful sweater. This is from an ethical brand called Esby Apparel and this is the Yates sweater so with this one, the color obviously is really nice for transitional weather dressing because it's a bit lighter. Even though it's a chunky knit sweater, the, because the color is a bit lighter, I feel like it feels more spring in my mind. And I actually paired those with my Everlane straight leg pants, which are in the kind of sand color. Yeah, I believe this is called sand. And then I'm also wearing these lovely clogs from a brand called Sandgren's Clogs. They make some really beautiful shoes. These are the Dublin style clogs, so they're kind of like a medium height heel, but they have shorter heels and higher heels too, depending on your personal style. Um, these are really comfortable. I've been uh, kind of throwing them on to go into the garden too, which is a bit nice. I really love the feeling of like a wooden uh, sole of a shoe. I find it personally very comfortable, but I do feel like these make quite a statement and I love how they kind of change up my outfit styling wise. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of these as you can probably tell. Back to this sweater for a moment because I want to talk a bit more about this. This is a really nice piece to wear for transitional dressing because the knit itself is quite thick, it's heavy, it has a nice heavy feeling to it which always in my mind indicates a really well made knit and it has a really interesting shape to it so I believe you would call this maybe a mock neck style. I'm not sure if that's the correct word for it. And then it has these three quarter length sleeves that are a bit wide, I guess you would say. I really love the length of the sleeves though. I think it's very flattering and very chic. One of my favorite details of this sweater is the slit in the front and back so the back is a bit longer. And then this also allows you to tuck in the front if that's how you'd prefer to have it styled. So it's kind of cropped in the front and long in the back like a mullet. I'm always tempted to tuck this in and crop it a bit. I, I typically tuck in like all of my knitwear, but with this one, I just think that the length of it and the cut is so unique that it just needs to be out like this on its own. But I always feel very put together when I'm wearing this sweater. It's kind of like a one and done piece in my mind. So I can just throw this on. It's thick enough where I don't need to put a coat on over it, which is really nice. Although I will admit that sometimes my wrists do get a little bit cold in this. But I saw um, Erica, a history of architecture style this sweater on Instagram and she actually wore it with a long sleeve shirt under it, which I thought looked really nice as well. So if you did want to like style this uh, kind of three quarter sleeve style of a sweater for more winter or colder weather, um, I think it looks really she kind of layered up with long sleeves or um, even like mesh tops that are really popular right now, I think that would look very cool too. So this is my kind of oatmeal-y neutral monochrome outfit. 
very spring-like in my mind, but still very warm and winter weather appropriate if need be. I also, I know this is not that interesting to you, but I'm just wearing like a vintage graphic tee under here that I can just pull this off if it gets warm outside. So I really love this sweater for winter and now I'm gonna love it for spring too. Just the style of it I think makes it work for a lot of different seasons which is always ideal in a small wardrobe. The handbag that I chose with this one is my Stodd Visit bag. Beloved Stodd round ovaly bag that is such a fun shape. I think I got this a couple of years ago now and I don't know, I'm still a huge fan of it. I, for some reason, in my mind, this is more of like a fall and spring kind of bag, handbag, but I chose this handbag because it is quite structured, it's quite a unique shape, and I think it really complements the very structured, unique shape of the sweater. And also I think that the brown leather works really nicely with this oatmeal-y sand color. And then I don't know if this is something that bothers any of you out there, but I did pair black shoes with a brown handbag. It doesn't bother me too much. Let me know in the comments though, do you think it's okay to wear black uh, shoes with brown handbags and accessories? So this is outfit number two. And before I started filming, I took it upon myself to just move that ever-growing pile of clothes that was sitting back there. It was really bothering me, so I assume it's probably bothering one of you too. But anyways, I wanted to show you this outfit, and I actually have a couple of variations for this one. I'm not super sure how I feel about the first one, so I thought I would start with this. But this is an outfit that is more monochrome and kind of more androgynous than the other two. And it's also one that I feel is more like Scandi-esque than maybe, you know, more like Parisian inspired like the first one, um, but all styles that I really admire. And I also want to say that this outfit is very much inspired by Brittany Bathgate and her kind of oversized silhouettes, her black and white outfits, and yeah, definitely the shoes too. So let me show you what it's all about. So this is another sweater from Tradlands. This is their modern Fisher sweater, which as you can see is in a beautiful like fisherman style knit. I forgot what these are called, but this one is kind of in between the Jude and like a heavier sweater. So it's not extremely heavy, but it is I would say a little bit warmer than the Jude sweater. So this is an outfit that does not have a piece of outerwear, but because it's layered, I think that it would work for maybe a slightly warmer day when you're going out. And the styling bit that I'm not too sure about is that I have the sweater layered on top of this oversized shirt right now, but I also really like how it looks draped over the shoulder, so I'll show you that style variation next. And the uh, shirt that I'm wearing underneath is from Organic Basics. It's their oversized shirt dress. Uh, you'll be able to see it a lot better in the next variation of this outfit. And then I'm also wearing my slim pants from Everlane. They're just a really great straight black leg pant. They're really similar in style to the straight leg pant that I was just wearing. Like, so similar, I can't really even tell the difference. And then for shoes, I'm wearing my Birkenstock Arizona EVA sandals, which I've got a surprising amount of wear out of just in the past few weeks. And I think in the beginning of this video, I mentioned that I didn't include any open toe um, sandals in this video, and that was a lie, because I did. But these are really great style sandal to have. These are very much inspired by Brittany Bathgate, too, with the big chunky dad sandal trend. And I do have my handbag sitting here on the bed, but I'll show you that with the next variation of this outfit. And here is outfit variation number two. So as you can see, it's very similar to the first one, but this is great when you're layering and you're going out for the day and you don't know how cold or hot it's going to be or the weather's just changing a lot. So it's really easy to just slip off this um, warm knit sweater and throw it over your shoulders. This is a styling trick that I really, really love to use, especially in the springtime. I think it's really chic and it kind of acts as like another form of an accessory in my opinion. Um, and it adds quite a bit of interest to an outfit. I also like that the sweater is kind of covering up the collar on the shirt. I don't know if it's because we've been spending so much time at home for so long now, but a collared shirt feels very, very dressy to me now. So for some reason, just throwing the sweater on over the collar 
makes it a little bit softer feeling to me and a little bit less dressy. I also really wanted to include a white button down shirt in this video because I feel like it's such a great wardrobe staple for spring and specifically for transitional weather dressing. It's long sleeve, it's kind of big and billowy depending on the cut and style that you choose and it just feels very crisp and spring-like in my opinion. There's nothing more crisp feeling than a white button down shirt and it still gives you some coverage to keep you warm. So that is my reasoning behind including this piece. And again, I wanted the silhouette of this outfit to feel really like kind of playing with proportions, oversized a bit, um, and this top always does it for me. And initially I thought, you know, I should stray away from dark bottoms, but I think because so much of this outfit is quite light, um, at least on the top half, it kind of grounds it a little bit and plays with the contrast of like the big shirt with a more slim pant and the matching black sandals. And for the handbag, I have my Minor History True bag that's in this lovely like plum color. I have basically been using this as my ha main handbag since I received it at the end of last year. I want to say August, September, or October. It was around that time. I've got so much use out of it because it's a really nice size and I really love the top handle bag at the moment. Uh, I've been using the top handle a lot more than the uh, crossbody, although when I'm walking around a lot I do tend to just switch and wear it as a crossbody bag, but I think the size is just really ideal for a kind of everyday bag and it feels so like feminine and cute to wear it as a crossbody or as a top handle bag. I uh, initially wanted to wear a black handbag with this outfit, but I actually kind of like the little pop of color. And so that is outfit number three. And this is the fourth look. So this is definitely one of those like wardrobe outfit uniforms for me. I really love wearing a cardigan as a top, especially in the spring when it's a little bit cooler so you can get away with, you know, fewer knitwear layers and thinner knitwear. Um, but this is a way that I like to wear a cardigan that just kind of changes it up for me because I do tend to go for the like t-shirt, cardigan, jeans, um, outfit uniform a lot too. Um, so yeah, just cut out the t-shirt and you've got a whole look at itself. This is an old cardigan from Uniqlo that I've had for a while now, but the particular cut of this cardigan works really well as a top too. Um, and also it's in a light color, so white, which makes it feel a bit cooler, more spring-like. And then I actually paired them with some skinny jeans. These are from a brand called Abel. And I have to say, this outfit is very much inspired by Mademoiselle, um, who's a YouTuber who I love, and she always has like really chic looks with skinny jeans. So that kind of inspired me to like, you know, get these back out and style them in a different way. And I'm really loving these. These are also a bit looser too, so <laughs> they're not like skin tight, um, which makes them really uncomfortable for me. So these are quite comfortable skinny jeans. And Abel is a great ethical brand that makes some really cool denim. I have another pair of denim from Abel. They're the Wide Leg Whitney Boyfriend jeans that I get so many compliments on every time I wear them. And those are also extremely comfortable too. And like a thinner denim, which I think is really nice, especially in spring and summer. Anyways, I'm getting off track. So back to this. Um, again, I wanted to do a very kind of Parisian inspired outfit for this look. So then for shoes, I went with another pair of Sarah Flint loafers. I absolutely love these. They are the, I believe they're called the Alyssa uh, Gravati loafer. Extremely comfortable, great for walking around in a lot. And I know that I said that a collared shirt feels a bit too dressy, but for some reason, a classic black loafer never feels too dressy for me. So like I said, this is very much a kind of um, outfit uniform for me in a way and like the cardigan jeans and then a pair of loafers are something that I just love to wear year-round I'm pretty sure I had a very similar outfit to this that I posted on my blog like two ish years ago so yeah it's just a really good go-to kind of look for me and I think it's really nice to have outfits like that in our repertoire that work for all different seasons that we go back to year after year 
um, and that just makes us feel really good. And so, yeah, I feel very polished in this, and I don't know if it's the skinny jeans or just jeans in general, because um, I've been wearing a lot of sweatpants lately, but it feels really nice. Let me show you my outerwear and accessories now. And in keeping with the kind of French theme or Parisian theme of this outfit, I went with my Cezanne trench coat. And I actually mentioned this at the beginning of my video because I said I'm going to do a review on one of the outerwear pieces featured in this video. And this is the one. A few of you requested that, I think, like last year or beginning of this year. And I've kind of been putting it off because spring is definitely trench coat season. And it's kind of the perfect layer for transitional dressing in general because it is a lightweight outerwear piece and it's also like weather resistant. So yeah, I really love this piece, but I did just want to kind of try it for a bit longer before doing a full review on it. So you can expect to see that soon, probably by the end of this month if you're interested. Um, they do still sell this style. This is the Scott Trench. They still sell this on their website. And apologies for this bent lapel. I did try doing a bit of ironing, but I think it needs a bit more. <laughs> so here is my outerwear layer. And, you know, in this alone, with this sweater and nothing underneath, like, I am very warm and cozy right now. I think that this is more than enough for most of the weather that we experience around these parts this time of year. So I'm very cozy, so I'm really loving the colors on this. It feels very Parisian inspired and also very spring-like while still keeping me warm and being a practical outfit. And then for the handbags, I again went with my Staud Bisset bag. I just, I don't know, I really like how the blue and the brown tones look in this outfit. And it's a bit more of like a structured bag again, which kind of goes with the structured feeling of the jacket. And yeah, again, I paired the black shoes with the brown handbag. That doesn't really bother me, but like I said, let me know in the comments if you think that is a fashion no-no. I kind of don't think there are any fashion rules um, that are worth listening to all the time if you don't want to but I am curious. Also, navy and black. How do you feel about those two paired together? I quite like it. Yeah, so this is outfit number four. This is my Parisian-inspired spring transitional outfit. So that is all for this video. I really hope you liked these outfits, um, and I hope that it gave you some styling ideas if you're still somewhere in the world in between winter and spring as well. Um, let me know in the comments if you have a favorite of the four looks. And as usual, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe for more, make sure you hit that bell notification, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!